Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and this is Travels with Phil. And today we're going to be talking about and visiting Paul Revere's famous midnight ride from Boston to Lexington. Let's take a look over here. That's Paul Revere, an actual portrait, and that's what he looked like a lot older, so he obviously survived. This is your typical image for the midnight uh, ride for Paul Revere, but not everything you know about it is exactly the way you've heard in that old poem. This is Boston, Old North Church, and Paul Revere's house. We're going to start off looking at the uh, ride here. Now, Paul Revere, uh, there were three people that mainly made the ride. Several others did, but Paul Revere took the northern route, the one that you see there in blue on this map from the National Park Service. William Dawes took the green route, which was to the south, and then later on they were joined by William Prescott, which you see over here to the left and in the purple route and he's the one that actually made it to Concord now the British patrol stopped all three of them and Paul Revere was taken uh, captive but let's start off over at Paul Revere's house now this is an old old uh, drawing sketching of what his house looked like there in Boston this is uh, one that I took and uh, it is one of the few old old homes that are still left there of course a lot of folks have put efforts into uh, keeping it going keeping it looking good and uh, maintaining the structure itself and you can go on tours inside the uh, building itself let me show you a video from outside travels with phil continues at the paul revere house in north boston one of the very very few remaining original houses from that era no photography or video inside the house. It takes you through a few rooms in there. You can see some of his original stuff, some of his uh, silverware. Almost none of his goldware exists. This bell right here was made by his company. And if you look real close, you need to see with the glare. Always an issue taking pictures through glass. Here in Sons. This is also a mortar he made. Stand in the right spot so you can see it. So, travels with Phil continues at the Paul Revere House. Alrighty, and now let's go to the Old North Church where the lanterns were hung to show that. Travels with Phil continues. This is Paul Revere. And there in the background, Old North Church. All that Wadsworth, Longfellow, it one if by land, two if by sea stuff. Well, that's the church. And this is, this is the area. A lot of Italian and other languages being spoken here other than English. Says something about America. Christ Church, the oldest one. 1723, its, its steeple's blown down in 1804. Paul Revere Mall here. So this is it, folks. That's the spire for the old North Church. In the background, this is the... And over here, courtyard. The narrow streets around here. See very few people obeying traffic signs or lights, as the case may be. There's the church. And these are some old pictures looking at the uh, church from various times, uh, probably in that one was probably about 80 some odd years ago. This is the inside of the old North Church or Christ Church. That's the organ. And here's another video. Travels with Phil continues in the Concord uh, Museum. Well, this lantern has been identified as one of the lanterns hung as a signal in the belfry of Christ Church, Old North Church in Boston, on the night of April 18, 1775. Basically, the person who sold it says they got it from the sexton of the Christ Church and was affirmed by said sexton at the time to have been one of the two lanterns flashed from the belfry of that church by order of Paul Revere on the evening of 18, April 1775. 
Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. That's the one of the two hit by C. Well, according to this, that's a little bit inaccurate. And one of the things to remember is Paul Revere wasn't looking for the signals. He knew where they were coming from. This was just for other folks in Charlestown to be aware. And this is what it looks like from the north. So here's a video outside. Travels with Phil continues. All right, the front of Old North Church. The sign up there says, The signal lanterns of Paul Revere displayed in the steeple of this church, April 1775, warned the country of the march of the British troops to Lexington and Concord. Let's zoom in a little bit. So Paul Revere started his uh, route from here. He went across the bay over to Charlestown and then took the north route. So let's took, uh, what, see what happened to him until he eventually was captured by the British. He didn't make it to Concord. This is that map again and again. He took the north route and he did make it all the way to Lexington and warned uh, uh, Hancock and Adams that the British were coming. Travels with Phil continues. Listen, my children, and you shall hear there's something quite wrong about that ride of Paul Revere. There were other writers of which you don't hear a lot. Their names were William Dawes and Samuel Prescott. Hey, I just made that up. Well, what's wrong with that story by Longfellow? Lots of people made the ride. Three main ones, lots of people after that. But Paul Revere didn't finish it. He was captured by the British right here. Uh, Dawes and Prescott continued on. They were uh, able to, well, Dawes had to get around. Prescott was able to get through. And uh, this is the scene of where Paul Revere got caught. The X is where it is on the map. Right there, bold letters. And right there in bold letters, Samuel Prescott, not Paul Revere, carried the alarm to Concord and beyond. It's sort of funny, according to the tour guide out here, they said, yeah, when they were being held, Doss says, hey, look over there. And they turned around and looked, and he rode off. And I don't know if it was actually quite that simple, but uh, uh, Doss did manage to escape. And Prescott managed to jump over a wall and get away from the soldiers as well. The map shows you how far he got. Ah, the wind blowing on the map. This is an overhead view of the scene right there. The red dot is where the capture was occurred. And this is a timeline showing how far they got to the various spots. Lincoln is where he was captured. And then this is where Paul Revere rests back in Boston. This is his uh, tombstone there in the city of Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.